Thanks for joining this OSCE. Uh, I'm Thomas and I'm the examiner for um, today in this Breaking Bad news station. Good luck in this Breaking Bad news scenario and please go ahead. So, Brendan, lovely to have you in. How are you? Good now, yeah. Good, good. And Brendan, can you tell me what you know so far about why you're here? Well, a couple of months ago, I had pains in my wrists and my joints and stuff like that, my elbow, my knees and my ankles and all that. So I went to the doctor and he gave me some tablets. They didn't really do much good at the time, right? So he called me back in then to do some tests on me. And uh, he sent away for the test. So I'm coming back in just to get the results and hopefully you're going to have some good news for me. <laughs> well, hey, Brendan. So you know that we sent away for those tests and one of the concerns when you came in was that you might have rheumatoid arthritis and those tests confirmed that you do in fact have rheumatoid arthritis i'm really really sorry to tell you i know this is this is very big news and it's very difficult news to hear i have arthritis yeah yeah i couldn't have arthritis or i'm a pe teacher do you know what i mean i know i know and it, it can come as a shock to an awful lot of people. Sure, I've always looked after myself, like, do you know what I mean? I'm a PE teacher, I'm healthy. Now, the, the, the only thing is that there's an awful lot we can do. There's um, different lifestyle changes you can make that can sometimes have an, like a kind of healthful impact. And we're also going to send you on to a rheumatologist and he's an expert in the area of arthritis. And he sees stuff like this all day, every day. They've got two daughters. They're only kids. Do you know what I mean? I make them sandwiches in the morning. I get them up for school. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm doing my best for them. Like I see yeah. a woman, I see a woman in the yard, do you know what I mean, that has arthritis. And it takes yeah. her nearly half the day to go across the playground. Yeah. Half the day. Am I going to end up like that, is it? No, well, we don't know how much this will progress. It it probably will progress, but we don't know if that might ever be a situation you'd be in and we don't know when about that could happen and um, there's an awful lot we can do to kind of mediate um, an eventuality like that arising and for an awful long time you're going to still have the level of function you already have and over time that might change but we'll be here to help you the consultant will be here to help you i'm supposed to be looking after them like just for me like, are they supposed to be looking after me now they're going to be looking after the dad, is it? The well, dad, that's not... The dad is all, like, deformed and everything, yeah. Like, so I'm going to have to get rid of my house now. Am I going to have to sell my house? Because I have a two-story house, so I'm going to have to change where I live and everything? That might never be an eventuality that comes to pass. And I think, I suppose, for now, you just have to come to terms with this. And um, when you go and see the, the um, rheumatologist, he'll be able to kind of come up with a a better idea of how things might progress. There's an awful lot we can do. Things will change, but you know, it's not the be all and end all. There'll be still loads of things you're well able to do. So I'd have to get a special care, like, yeah? That yeah. might never happen. Well, I see that woman, she's a special care. Do you know what I mean? She's the one that's walking slow. She yeah. Walking yeah. Through too fast, you know what I mean? Yeah. This affects like so many people so differently. Brendan, in terms of going forward, we'll be able to put you on medications that can help. Oh, Brendan. My heart goes out to you. This must be so, so incredibly difficult to hear. <laughs> Won't be able to go places with them. Won't be able to do this. What you will be able to do. Being a caregiver is so much more than your physical capabilities. Working all my life in it. Eh? That's what I'm going to be left with, like, huh? Eh? I know. So Hello, Brendan. Welcome. How are you doing? Thank you for coming in today. So, you're looking for the results of your exam.